bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her. Now check this out. Uh, uh, you know, I just want to add a little more perspective on um on the whole Grammy conversation. You know, you know, many of you may have already heard or seen. We are a white reggae band. Won the best, you know, you know, you know, reggae album of the year, you know, award. Yeah, and um, you know, a lot of people outraged and you know, a few people in support or less people in support. Um, of you know white bands you know getting their recognition and winning awards in the um, reggae category yeah well you have to understand there are a lot of hypocrisy going around with this because of course you have some man who work with the white people them sing reggae with the white people them the rock steady album with the white people them like like you know no doubt album was a reggae album that won you know a grammy and there are artists that you know, were also given awards or, or, you know, were awarded or rewarded for the effort and they actually have it on their resume. You see, man, I say, when you pull up them bio, you see them got Grammy, you know, and how they got the Grammy? They got the Grammy through a white band that came and did a reggae album, a rock steady album with Sly and Robbie in Jamaica. So there were no outcry. You understand? Then, for, for white people doing reggae or rock steady or ska, you see? So, you know, some people are hypocrite. They come forward now, burn out white people, you know, you know winning a, 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 a reggae award, you know. But they don't say nothing when they get award from white people who are singing reggae. But, you know, of course, you know, say, I'm here to eat that and everything, so blame me. You see? But this, this I, I came across this on my timeline from Chronics. You see? And I find it to be very interesting. So Kranich said, you know, Soja been one of the best bands in America for years. Overall, one of the top reggae bands in the world for years. So you shouldn't have to be a fan to show respect. Don't mention me on some post trying to discredit honorable people who are doing what they love. Them man have been blessing us and sharing their platform with us for years. Consistently. Bring enough away on the road before we got opportunities open for maybe many of the native Jamaican music legends. What wrong with some men? And he went on to big up soldier, you know, and, and tag them and show, show them say I support them. Basically make them on them. So he tagged Revolution, he tagged um, stick figures, you know, he, he tagged dirty heads, you know, and all of the white reggae bands and he tagged them. Well, I, I, I understand what, you know, Chronix is saying, but I also understand that Chronix is trying to ensure that he stays on the road and, you know, he can, you know, share the platform with the man here because here we go on now. Them, them, these white reggae bands, they dominate the reggae scene in Europe and in the West. Yeah? They totally dominate the reggae stage worldwide, you know, basically worldwide. You see what I mean, say? So, we don't want to play hypocrite with this whole thing because there are issues. There are issues. There are issues with the Grammy committee, the Grammys committee. There are issues with the media, our media, yeah, who choose to um, highlight who they feel is deserving of, 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 of recognition, not the, the, the better albums or the best albums, or not the, you know, the people that are working hard and putting on quality music, you know, it's like, you know, a lot of these reporters are fans, are groupies, you understand? And the editors and all of them, you know, they're fans and groupies. You know, so there are no critical analysis, even on albums, you know, from people who are supposed to be analyzing these projects and letting people know, you know, like, like how, you know, you know, the journalists them in the past used to make sure so them, them give an honest feedback on the, on the albums. And of course... We have a, we're in an era now where, you know, people can see other people's report, our, our coverage, yeah? So, there are issues, of course, yeah? There are issues with the Grammy, the Grammy, the, the Grammy's committee, based on their selection, or their method of, selection, of selecting albums. Because, I honestly don't think, I don't believe they've been listening to these albums that they're selecting. I, I think now they're trying to say they're listening to these albums. Rubbish, garbage. 
you're not listening to the albums and if you're listening to the albums you know nothing about music or our music you don't understand our music you know nothing about our music to be even selecting or picking which album is better or which album is not deserving you understand what i'm saying you don't know nothing the, 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 you need to get people on your panel who understands the music people who know when people are singing a key people who know when a, a song is a is a good mix produced song you understand so there are issues there are issues there are issues with jesse royal album jesse royal's album not getting any form of attention and it is one of the it was one of the better album or maybe the best in my opinion albums um in the category Graham Smargan album, you can argue and say it has some country flavor, so maybe you don't choose it. You understand? Um, Itana's album is a, is, a, is a good album, but Jesse Royal's album is, 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 was the better album in the category. You understand? Because don't tell me it's about all oh, numbers. Because the man that won album of the year, he did not outsell Bruno Mars and all of those other artists. So don't tell me it's about numbers. So tell me that, oh, Soldier, they're selling a lot of music or downloading a lot of music. We are Jamaicans. We don't have um, the, 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 the privilege. Uh, we don't have, excuse me, the, the, the capacity, see, of, 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 of getting those numbers up. You understand? We are a small country, 2.5 million people. Yeah? So we don't have the, 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 the population for, for, to compare with, 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 a, with a white reggae band. You understand? Who controls all of California, all of, all of San Francisco, all the whole West and Europe. And maybe Brazilian country, Brazilian territories. See? So let's not play hypocrites. You hear what I said? There are issues. There are issues. The Grammy, nobody can tell me that the Grammy committee, the Grammy's committee is listening to these albums. Case in point. Chronix, your album should have been nominated. But for years, what they did, they kept on using the same faces. If they them, them see a name that they, 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 they're familiar with, they nominated the person. Your album was a very good album. Busy, busy album. I think you named um, Reggae Music again. That was a very good album. Taurus Riley, She's Royal album was a great album. And you can argue Sweet Jamaica album. You know? Come on. So, let's not play hypocrites here. Zin? Zin? So, so watch this again now. Watch this again now. Let me ask a question. All who are saying, oh, people should not be outraged and people should not question what's going on. Let us look from it, look at it from this perspective. Would they nominate or give a Jamaican artist singing R&B or singing hip-hop? An hip-hop award? Or an award for best hip-hop or best R&B? No, they will not. You know how I know this is so? Omi had the biggest song the year that Cheerleader came out. Was he nominated in any of the categories? Any of the international categories? Quote unquote international categories. No, he was not. He another one. You know, let, let's look at even African music then. Let's look at African music. Where they put where they put um essence and whiskey. They put essence and whiskey in global music. You look at the global music names. It's not any names that you're familiar with. You don't see Drake. You don't see, you don't see Jay-Z them in, 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 in those categories. You understand what I'm saying? But yet still, what them do? Them put essence in our category, global music. And when you look in that category, you see some African names and so. You, you understand? You don't see essence getting nominated for best R&B. When the sound, the, the Afro type of vibe that they're doing now is close to R&B. You understand what I'm saying? But they would not give essence song of the year. You see? Even if they call it, even if, Whiskey, them are the, 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 um, the African world decide to call their music R&B because that is like an R&B vibe, you know. Let's not get it twisted. Afro music is an R&B vibe. You see what I'm saying? So, so let, let, let's look at another perspective, uh, another scenario, excuse me. Right? All right, all right, analogy. Let's say jerk chicken, right? Let's say we have a competition for jerk chicken and some white man win. See, this is where we musicians now, and reggae artists, and the, even the media now, and in, you know, people that are playing a part, the producers. Them. This is where you have to question yourself now. Jerk chicken competition. See, a white farmer or a white cook or a white chef wins the jerk chicken festival. A white man wins the award. No, you have to, what you have to say? 
They're going to say, yo, white man come come win the jerk chicken award. You're going to either check say, if it's bias or if the black man them or if the Jamaican them, chicken never season good. What if that flavor on the head? Let me say it again. Jerk chicken award. So everybody can enter. Yeah? So a white man win best jerk chicken. What you going to say to yourself? You're going to say, yo, I must robbery go on or the Jamaican them chicken never season good. But you're going to say, uh, who are the judge? You're going to ask, who are the judges that selected the winner? So now you have a question, was there better chicken? Was there better seasoned chicken? That you have to find out now, you know. That is where we have to ask ourselves, you know. You have to ask yourself, are we making better reggae music than Revolution them and Soldier them presently? That we have to ask ourselves. Because if a white man win the jerk chicken award, it's either the people them we are judge no know how real jerk chicken tastes or the people them we create the whole jerk chicken vibe I know about jerk chicken or the originators of jerk chicken. Maybe them not season them chicken good again. Maybe them are used too much foreign seasoning. You see? But what am I gonna do now? They're gonna say, oh, are the seasoning. And what am I gonna blame? They're gonna blame the little boys them where I do them look at trap music. No. Because enough of the reggae bands them, reggae musicians them, reggae artists them, you stop use live bass. You stop go to Mikey Bennett them, the real producers them. You stop go to Cleavy them from Steely and Cleavy. You stop go to Sly them. You stop go to Donovan Jeremy and them. Now for one to start producing yourself. You understand that? A lot of you start producing yourself. When you now go to the real engineer them like Rowan them, Rowan Dwyer, to mix on a record when you not when do on a record. So when you make on a record now mix good. When the sounds light. When I use piano bass line, so on the thing, on the thing, it feel, it feels stagnant. Yes, what I say? Me don't want to use the word stiff, but it feels stagnant, so it's not groove. So that means say your bass line when it put on with the revolution man them. There's no difference. Or maybe feel them bass line even sweeter or more strong or stronger or a groove better. If the white man bass line a groove better. Than the Jamaicans them bass line, you no deserve no award. 